in this lecture of information retrieval we are going to discuss our next topic which is called as choosing a document unit okay so what was our discussion so far so so far we have discussed that uh, in the last lecture how to obtain a character sequence that is how to obtain a character sequence from a digital document okay this was our last uh, lectures discussion so uh, in the next phase the next phase we have is to determine what should be the document unit for indexing purpose so after character sequence now we are looking forward for the document unit okay so first of all uh, what is a document and then later we discuss what is a document unit so as we know according to definition a document is nothing but a piece of written printed or electronic matter that provides information or evidence that serves as an official record okay that is considered to be as our document that you stores in a soft copy format or you may get it uh, as a printout uh, and there are various formats for a documents like a word file or pdf file or emails or powerpoints or excel sheets etc so so far our discussion was based on that uh, that the documents are nothing but they are of fixed unit they are fixed units for the purpose of indexing so uh, for example if we take uh, the example of a document then we can take each file in a folder as a document but there are many cases in which you might want to do something different so let us take a uh, consideration in, uh, of these different cases so our consideration is what are the the type of documents that you are uh, we are taking into consideration for indexing purpose okay so first type of document may be a file that file may be a simple word file or pdf file or uh, uh, any uh, text file that we might uh, we might take into consideration for the indexing purpose but there there are many other possibilities so the second possibility may be an email or email file that is perhaps one of many in an inbox uh, in an mbox if you know about the uh, traditional unix uh, operating system then uh, we know that it uses an mbox format where email file stores a sequence of email messages that are number of email messages in an email folder as a one file okay so we have a collection of emails but they are uh, stored as a single file so in this case we need uh, for indexing purpose we need each email message as a separate document so our first uh, priority will be the separation of these uh, documents from a single file okay further category of documents may be uh, a simple email with number of attachments that we uh, send emails in our daily life with a number of attachments so in, uh, if our document is of such category then we know that e uh, many email messages now contain attached documents of the and these are attached documents may be of different types and first of all we uh, for indexing purpose we might then want to regard the email message and each contained attachment as a separate document so first we have to uh, separate them and then we have to process them for indexing purpose and suppose if we have an email message that is attached zip file okay that is in, uh, in the form of compressed version then first we need to decode the zip file and regard each file it contains as a separate document so we have to separate the documents out from the zip file okay further uh, going into the example of documents then fourth category may be considered to be as a group of files uh, take an example of ppt or maybe a latex latex document okay in this uh, type of document we will go into the reverse direction why reverse direction consider various pieces of web software uh, we have various uh, type of web, web software so, uh, we are taking uh, the example of uh, one that is latex to html that take things that you might regard as a single document so suppose we are uh, performing a doc uh, we are creating a document as a ppt then what it does 
this type of softwares split them into separate HTML files or we can also save our PPT file in the number of separate uh, image documents okay so these are stored as a separate files if you do, uh, do not know about LaTeX file then you can you might consider your example as PPT file okay that PPT contains a number of slides that are that we, if you want to save our PPT as an uh, image format then each slide will be separated from uh, other one okay and then our document will contain a folder that contains a number of slides in the form of images so in these cases what we might want to do we might want to combine multiple files into a single document so that they can be considered for the indexing purpose so these are various example of documents that we are going to take into our consideration for the indexing purpose okay now suppose we have these documents we might take any any of the example so for the sake of easiness i am simply taking our first example as say our file document okay now how long this document should be for indexing purpose this is our next consideration because on this type of uh, considerations we have a uh, very important issue in the inf information retrieval that is considered that is called as indexing granularity so what is granularity it is nothing but the scale or level of detail in a set of data as we know so for a collection of books it would usually be a bad idea to index an entire book as a document okay let us understand it why suppose we have a document titled as middle ages in europe okay so in the uh, european history this middle ages time is considered when many documents contains the information or a term known as christ okay and also during this time there were a rise of university culture in europe okay so this type of documents may contain uh, these two terms frequently that is a christ and university now someone if someone searches for the term christ university okay on a search engine or in a document then above mentioned document that is a middle middle ages in europe may get listed for the uh, outcome of our query but we know in general sense that this query that is christ university has no relevance with the above document as we are referring it uh, suppose this christ unit uh, university is situated in uh, bangalore india okay so we are uh, searching for that christ university but our issue, our query is uh, listing the uh, above uh, this mentioned document that is middle ages in europe and we know it has nothing to do <coughs> in the uh, for this book okay or with the above document so this is this issue is called as the issue of indexing granularity when our search query returns a document which has nothing to do but because of these document terms it is indexing that document okay so what we what uh, we can do in this in such cases so in such cases we may wish to index each tab chapter or paragraph as a mini document so what we can do we can take uh, each chapter of the book and uh, save it as a different document uh, which is considered to be as a mini document because in such cases matches are likely to be more relevant okay and since the documents are smaller it will be much easier for the user to find the relevant passages in the document okay uh, so it may be possible for a book that christ is appearing in the first chapter and uh, university is appearing in the second chapter but we if we take the complete document as a unit then that document in completely uh, may be indexed but if, if we uh, uh, separate the chapters one from another then it is uh, uh, it is a less probability that that particular document may be indexed so what we can do we can uh, process the document as a uh, in the form of separate chapters uh, and that are called as the mini document so that our matches uh, are more relevant okay and why should we stop here we can further process our document or we can uh, we, uh, what we can do we could treat individual sentences as the mini document we can take individual passages we can take individual sentences as in the form of mini documents but 
there is an issue with this so if, if somebody asked the question that why why uh, we cannot take the small documents in the form of sentences or paragraphs so there is an issue with this that if the units gets too small then we are likely to miss we are likely to miss important passages because terms were distributed over several mini documents because uh, in one chapter maybe it may be possible there are 10 passages then the important information may be distributed among several documents so our query will result in a wrong uh, indexing. So as we uh, know that if the documents are too large, we are going, going uh, we, are, we tend to get spurious matches, matches and uh, relevant information is hard for the user to find. And if we, if we uh, shorten the documents in the form of mini documents, then the, the issue of this uh, missing information passages or important passages may get arise. So what is the solution? So, so as a solution, the problem with the large document units can be alleviated by the use of explicit or implicit proximity search. So this is a term that is considered to be very important in information uh, retrieval. So what is this proximity search? So proximity search is nothing but it looks for the documents where two or more separately matching term occurrences are within the specified distances. So on the basis of these specified distances, our query will index the document, okay, where this distance is the number of intermediate words or characters. Okay, so one solution may be that we use the concept of implicit or explicit proximity search. The second solution will uh, may be that an IR system should be designed to offer the choices of granularity. That how our document must should be uh, indexed okay so on the basis of we can say that an, an IR system should be designed to offer the choices of granularity and second for this choice to be made well that granularity choice that that for this choice to be made well the person who is deploying the system must have a good understanding of the document collection that what are the documents uh, collected for the particular query the users what are their needs and their usage patterns okay so on the basis of these information the IR system should be deployed okay so the deployment person must have the very good understanding for the IR system to work perfectly okay so this is all about the our today's topic of uh, indexing or choosing a document unit for the indexing purpose okay so this is all for now and if you have any query then uh, you may ask in our comment section okay and if you like our videos then uh, kindly subscribe us and share our channel and in the next lecture we are going to discuss the further topics of uh, related to information retrieval or indexing that are called as tokenization lemmatization and so on okay thank you so much